In this video we're going to look at compo compounding inflation rate and buying power. So we'll do example 13 and 14 here. Suppose We'll start with example 13. Suppose that prices increase by 4% each year for 5 years. How much will a gallon of milk that costs $3.50 today cost in 5 years? Okay. So um, there's of course a couple of ways of looking at this we could calculate the increase every single year if you want and um, why not why not just quickly do that uh, just so we can maybe jog our memory on what a, the, on, on the on a compound interest formula that you've seen earlier but if you um, look at you know year one um, after one year okay the cost will be what? I mean at year zero initially the cost is 350 that's today but in one year's time the cost will be what? Well it will be three dollars fifty plus something right? Plus an extra four percent of 350 does that make sense? In other words, 350 plus what's 4% as a decimal? 0 0.4 or 0 0.04? It's 4 out of 100, right? So it's 0 0.04 times 350, okay? And of course, we could just calculate that and get the answer um, if we want to. But why don't we pull out 350, uh, 3 Point five oh sorry why don't we pull out 350 as a common factor okay okay so we're going to pull out 350 as a common factor and see what you get that'd be 350 times what Do you remember this 350 times 1 plus 0 0.04 okay and um, so that's after one year the price will be that and of course we can calculate that if we want right uh, 3.50 times oops times let me just do parentheses sorry Oop. Oop. times 1 plus 0 0.04 and that's 364 so it's an extra 14 cents you can see that right so of course that's you know 364 but um, I mean what we're talking about is after five years so after two years what's the cost going to be well it's our 364 right times another one plus four percent 0 0.4 does that make sense or in other words now 364 as we know can be written 350 times one plus 0 0.04 that is 364 okay this is 364 this is this, all this, right? And then if I multiply that by another 1.0.04, then I get um, what it's going to be after two years, right? So, of course, this is 350 times 1.0, uh, 1 plus, sorry, 0 0.04 to the power of 2 squared, right? And, um, of course, we can calculate that on a calculator we can just square so 350 times 1 plus 0 0.04 squared and that's 3.7856 and to the nearest cent about $3.79 and you can press pause and verify any of that if you like but my point is are you starting to remember the compound interest formula that we calculated before so um, if you excuse me I'm just going to go down here and what would the price be after five years can you write in the formula for five years what would the price be so what we have here is three dollars fifty increasing by four percent every year that's an exponential function as we studied earlier um, and it's it's just looks just like a, a, a compound formula a compound interest formula right 
So after five years, it's going to be 350 times 1 plus 0 0.04 to the power of 5. And then you just calculate that and you get the answer, right? So let's do that. And if you want, 1 plus 0 0.04 is 1.04. Then I can do my, so I, did my, I can do my parentheses first. Then I can do my exponents, power of 5 and get this number 1.21665 etc and then I can multiply that number by 3.50 or 3.5 and then we have 4.2582 etc and to the nearest cent what is your answer? So to the nearest cent you should get $4.26 okay? so answer me this after 10 years after 10 years if the price keeps increasing by 4%, what will be the price of a gallon of milk after 10 years? Press pause and do that one. Did you get it? So I'll do it now. It should be 350 times 1 plus 0 0.04 to the power of 10, which is... Again, you can take your... 1.04, put that to the power of 10, get 1.480244, etc., and then times that by 3.5, and we get 5.180, etc. So to the nearest cent, $5.18 for a gallon of milk in 10 years. And just for fun, how much will a gallon of milk cost in 100 years' time? Press pause and figure that one out. Okay, I hope you've tried it. The gallon of milk will be, take your 350, multiply it by 1 plus 0 0.04 to the power of 100. Okay, to the nearest cent, what does that give us? And so, of course, we really do appreciate our formula for these big numbers, right? So, uh, I mean, you wouldn't want to calculate 1, 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way to 100. That would take a long time, right? So, 1.04 to the power of 100 gives 50.50494 etc times that by 3.5 and a gallon of milk if inflation keeps going like this which it's about 4% I guess real in reality inflate uh, the gallon of milk is going to cost $176 and 77 cents isn't that interesting okay so just a little bit of inflation you know, over the course of 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 a, a well, I guess that would be a three generations. But over the course of of uh, of you know decades, you can really see what a big deal it is just to have a little bit of inflation every year. It really does change just change the country. Okay, so I mean, it's a big factor in in, in the world. Okay, anyway, so we've got this now example 14 I apologize for writing on top of it just need a little bit of space there but if prices increase 4% each year for five years what is the percentage decrease in the buying power of currency over the five year period so what we're going to take is just take our five years okay and the price went from 350 over the five year period the price went from three fifty, I hope you agree, to four dollars twenty six. So how are we gonna answer this question? If prices increase four percent each year for five years, uh, and it, what is the percentage decrease in the buying power? Okay? And um, so in other words the price went from three fifty to four dollars twenty six, and that reflects a decrease of what percent uh, regard uh, of the buying power of the dollar, right? So we know that we have a formula here for buying power. The decrease in buying power B equals 100i over 100 plus i. Okay. Uh, how are we going to use that? And what is i in this formula? Well, i is inflation rate as a percentage. What is the inflation rate as a percentage? Because, you know, 4% is every year. But don't we need the percentage rate over the five-year period, right? And we do indeed. What we need to calculate first is the five-year percentage rate. 
So we need the five year, sorry, inflation rate. Okay, how do you calculate the five year inflation rate? Well, you gotta take your increase in the price and put that over the initial price. So do your increase over the initial. Of course you gotta go four twenty six subtract three fifty, don't you? And the initial price was three fifty. So that would be zero point seven six all over 350, right? Which is 0.2171, uh, etc. And we'll write this as a um, percentage to a one decimal place. Okay, so it's equal to that, which is approximately. 21.7%. So our five year inflation rate, I, right, over the five year period was about 21.7%. In other words, the price increased by 21.7%. So what does that say about the buying power? How did the buying power of the dollar decrease over the five year period? Can you do that one? Well, surely we use this formula, right? The buying pl decrease in buying power as a percent equals this. So it's 100 times I over 100 plus I. And I should be given as a percent. So we deal with, we put in the, the whole number, you know, the number, percent number into this, onto, into these formulas. So we're going to put in 21.7 on the top and bottom, right? So 100 times 21.7 is 2170 and on the bottom 121.7, right? So plug that into a calculator, what do you get? So 17.83, etc., or approximately as a percentage to the to one decimal place, 17.8 percent. So my point is, the five-year inflation rate was 21.7 percent. The price increased by 21.7 percent, and that means the value of a dollar decreased by. Um, 17.8%. So the uh, value of uh, the currency or the dollar decreased by approximately 17.8%. Right? So can you do the same for the 10 year? So what I want you to do is see if we can figure out the 10 year inflation rate. Oops, sorry about this. So 10 year inflation rate, and remember the price over 10 years, and we just calculated it, has gone from $3.50 to $5.18. You need to calculate the 10 year inflation rate and then the decrease in the buying power of the dollar over the 10 year period. And this of course is if the prices increase 4% each year. So press pause and do that same way. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So to get the 10 year inflation rate, we get the increase of price over the initial price. So we go 5.18 minus 3.50 divided by the initial price of 350 and the increase in the price 
was a dollar sixty eight and if you compare that to three point five zero, we get uh, perfectly zero point four eight and as a percentage what's that forty eight percent so during over the ten year period our 10-year inflation rate was 48%. The price of the milk increased by 48%. B gives you the decrease in buying power. Press pause and calculate B if you haven't done it yet. So B is, I'll do it now, it's 100 times the inflation rate as a percentage over 100 plus the inflation rate as a percentage. And we plug in 48 into the top and bottom. So that gives us 4800 zero, zero, all over 148. And type that in the calculator and see what you get. So you might indeed get 32.432, etc. Round that to one decimal place. And that might be 32.4. Okay. Now, once again, B and I are already percent. They're already percent. So we just write that. Okay, B is thirty-two point four percent. Okay. So the um, in ten-year inflation rate of the milk was forty-eight percent. Okay. So the price of the milk went from three fifty to five dollars eighteen. That's an increase of forty-eight percent. The buying power of a dollar over the ten-year period therefore decreased by thirty-two point four percent.